Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another video for my junior students. This time I'm going to take up the properties of addition and subtraction of integers. A very important concept because the sign conventions used in addition and subtraction of integers are going to be of vital importance while studying the properties of the integers. Friends, on the occasion of the 75th Independence Day, I take this opportunity to wish all my dear countrymen, my subscribers, my friends, my students a very happy Independence Day. And on this uh, amazing uh, day, we have some special, special offers for you on the ebook of short tricks, the reasoning course, the CBSC worksheets, everything. Look at the offer here. I'm sure you would love to, uh, you know, take advantage of that offer. So you can send me a message on WhatsApp 9896369963. Uh, today is the day you, uh, you know, can take advantage and feel comfortable with the costing of all these paid contents. Also, we have come up with our uh, app, the Learning Loop app. This is the logo of the app. So you can go to Google Play Store and download our app called Learning Loop. The link of the Play Store is given there in the description. So click, it will take you to the download page. You can buy very, very nominal costing eBooks, test series, etc., especially for CBSC students at a very nominal cost. And you can watch lots of free videos uh, on the app also. Let's see some of the properties which are very useful for my junior students, class 6, 7th, 8th students. You will be greatly benefited. And all those preparing for competitive exams right from the, uh, you know, scratch, they'll be really, uh, you know, benefited. And you will find this useful. So here you have some numbers which are given there. So you can just, uh, uh, you know, neglect this number, question number given there because these are all parts of my, uh, you know, the worksheets. So, therefore, the question number is there. So, the first question says, for the following values of A and B, verify that A plus B equals B plus A. So, A plus B. In this case, you have A and B as 101A plus B as minus 11. So you notice one thing here, I have put minus 11 in the bracket. Why? Because there's already a plus sign here. So I cannot have two signs together without the use of brackets. That is one important thing. 101 and then plus and minus coming together get converted to a negative. So minus 11 and that gives me 90 as the left hand side. What about the right hand side? B plus A. B is minus 11 plus A is 101. Notice that I have not used any bracket here because two signs are not coming together. Minus and plus make a minus and therefore I have to subtract 101 and 11 which gives me 90 and the larger integer is 101 which has a plus sign preceding it and therefore my answer will be plus 90. So you can see the answer for A plus B and the answer for B plus A is exactly the same and therefore for two integers a plus B is always equal to B plus A. Now this property is known as commutativity. So commutative property or commutativity of addition of integers is very, very important. Likewise, if you see commutativity of uh, subtraction of integers, the difference A minus B and B minus A is not equal in case of integers. Let's see why. A minus B when A is 7 and B is minus 20. So we are trying to subtract them, right? Now you have two signs together. So I'll put this in bracket and therefore this becomes 7 plus 20, which is 27. And what about B minus A? If you subtract B, this is minus 20 and then A, which is 7, I can subtract them. So no use of brackets there. Minus minus plus, so they get added, but I'll have to put the sign of the larger integer which is 20, uh, negative 20, right? So it becomes negative 27. So you can see plus 27 and minus 27, they are never equal. And therefore the difference or the subtraction is not commutative in case of integers. So whereas the addition is commutative, 
the subtraction is not commutative. Let's see associativity. What is associativity? Associativity of addition. I'm telling you some of the problems which are given in the practice worksheet. Um, amazing practice worksheet. You can have like 60 questions of a single concept, you know, uh, in the practice worksheet. And that's why I always ask you to download the app and uh, visit the website www.sureshagarwal.in. Right? All these uh, the sources, you know, of, of worksheets, you will find them amazing. They are exclusive worksheets. Uh, you will not find the questions anywhere, not in print form also. So you can try and download some of those and uh, you know, I'm sure you will be resourceful. So what is associativity? If you add A plus B and then add C to that, or if you add A to the sum of B and C, see the use of brackets there. We are adding A and B first. So A is minus three, B is seven in this case, and then adding C that means 11 to that. And in the second case, A is minus three, so plus B, plus C that is 7 plus 11. Let's see what happens. So obviously Bodmas says you have to solve the brackets first. Minus 3 plus 7 is 4. So 4 plus 11 is going to give you 15. Likewise, minus 3 plus what is 11 plus 7? It's 18 and minus 3 plus 18 is again plus 15. So you can see the in case of integers, the associative property holds good. A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Such questions, you know, I've given a bundle of such questions so that you can feel comfortable practicing the various uh, properties of integers. Let's see another one. Uh, you can see the question number I put there. This is question number 56 of the uh, practice worksheet. This, this was question number 29. So that's why I say uh, you should go for all those worksheets. Okay. So what is required here? We need to find A plus B that's in one bracket. Subtract what? C plus D from that. So let's put the values first. A is minus one plus B is seven. Then we have a minus sign. C is minus five plus D is nine. How do you solve that? The first bracket minus one plus seven gives you six minus minus five plus nine gives you four. And therefore six minus four is two. Every question in the worksheet is not that easy, friends. When somebody else is solving, it does look easy. Friends, all these things which I tell you, you know, they uh, form a very important part of basic maths so that, you know, you when you do higher uh, algebra and higher topics like mensuration, surface area and volume, you know, these basic concepts should not uh, be a source of worry. You should not do uh, mistakes, you should not commit minor uh, mistakes and errors uh, while handling integers. So therefore, the series of videos uh, on the basic maths, you know, is very, very important. So friends, if you like this video, do share it with all your friends. Uh, do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon. Uh, I'm sure you are going to find all the links given below very useful. So just go through them once. Thanks for watching this and all the best.